O Muslim, O slave of Allah, a horrifying reality awaits you if you ever once partnered with Allah. For to partner with Allah is the worst of sins called shirk, a sin worse than rape, worse than murder, worse than genocide, worse than having taking Jews and Christians as your friends. You name it. According to Quran 4 verse 48 and 4 verse 116, partnering with Allah or shirk is unforgivable. Do you know what unforgivable means? It means that even if you obey Quran 9 verse 111 and kill and are killed in the cause of Allah, you still will have your skin burned off and placed daily throughout eternity in hellfire, if you ever partner with Allah. I mean, having an American soldier shove a piece of bacon down your throat after he stopped you dead from carrying out Quran 9, 111, seems far more spiritually safe for your mortal soul because you have once, because because, because your mortal soul because to have once believed that Allah had a partner means that no matter how many times you pull out a prayer rug and stuck your patidian, patidian there, it will all be for nothing because again, the Quran has Quran 4, verse 48, and Quran 4, verse 116 in it. A great way to fall for this worst of sins is to obey Quran 1094, which tells you, a Muslim, to go to those who have read the before scriptures, which is the Bible. If you obey Quran 1094, due to being in doubt about the Quran, well, the people you go to for the reading the before scriptures, that is the Bible, might start preaching to you how Jesus is the Son of God. And according to the Quran, if you end up believing that, it's all over for you because, again, shirk or partnering with Allah is unforgivable. And again, do you know what the word unforgivable means? Muhammad said that contemplation for one hour is better than six years of worship, but apparently you could contemplate for six years and it still wouldn't get you out of hell if you were ever a Christian believing Jesus to be the son of Allah. Mr. Papa also said, quote, seeking knowledge for one hour is better than 70 years of prayer. A real kick in the upraise between in prostration if there was one, if you ask me, but apparently you could seek knowledge for 70 years and it still wouldn't cut it because again there is shirk and shirk is unforgivable. Uh, you'd think Allah would cut you some slack if you were ever once a Christian being that it was all is doing to only make it look like Jesus went to the cross but according to the Quran was quote secretly taken up to be in heaven with Allah thus creating Christianity in the process but Allah doesn't cut you any slack if you were a Christian because again to believe Allah has a son is unforgivable according to Quran 4 verse 48 and for 116. I mean, if you ever fell for Allah's lie of only making it appear that Jesus went, to, Jesus went to the cross when again, according to the Quran, Allah secretly took him up to heaven to be with him, you will probably fall for what the book, which makes people a book, says, which is that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. You think Allah would go easier on you because of this whole shirk thing. I mean, you think he'd go easier on you with this whole shirk thing because not only does Allah seem to love to call himself we, like that uh, dean possessed guy named Legion in the Injil, but he calls himself our and us. Not only that, but Allah tells Christians in Quran 5, verse 68, that they have no ground to stand upon unless they quote, stand from upon the Injil. And, well, let's put it this way. The angel is not only about Jesus going to the cross for your sins, but at times says Jesus is a son of God. And yet, for some reason, shirk is not only worse than rape, murder and genocide, taking Jews and Christians as your friends, it is unforgivable and unpardonable according to the Quran, which calls itself the clear signs handed down. So again, if you, a Muslim, have ever been a Christian believing Jesus to be the Son of God, like the angel says at times, prepare for an eternity of pain. Prepare for having your feeling your skin being burned off and placed daily throughout an eternity of hellfire by the being that calls itself the most compassionate, most merciful. And if you are a Christian who is thinking of becoming a Muslim, well, sorry, if you ever obeyed Quran 5 verse 68 by standing firm upon the angel and end up believing Jesus was the Son of God like the angel says, hey, guess what? 
Well, I don't know about you, but I think I just saved you a whole life of pulling out a prayer rug and sticking your patootie up in the air five times a day every day for the rest of your life. Looks like I saved you a whole lot of time. Moral of the story, you might as well continue obeying Quran 5, verse 68, about standing firm upon the angel and believing that Jesus is not only the Son of God, but is God incarnate, like John 1, 1 hints. You might as well continue obeying Quran 568 and believing that Jesus did die on the cross for your sins and was not secretly taken up to heaven to be with Allah. Like uh, the clear signs handed down says, but did do all that the angel says he did. The only unforgivable sin in the angel is believing that God is Satan. But it's not as definitive and unforgivable like believing Allah had a partner. It just infers that you're in danger of having it unforgivable. So, again, if you think becoming a Muslim will save you from hell, when you were once a Christian, think again. Quran 4, verse 48. In Quran 4, verse 116, again, make it impossible. Unforgivable means unforgivable, or is all a lying like he did by make, only making it look like Jesus went to the cross, like the Quran says. I leave that up to you to decide. Oh, one more thing. How come all Muslims aren't going to hell for believing the part of the Quran that calls itself the clear signs handed down? Well, how come all Muslims aren't going to hell for believing the part of the Quran that says Jesus was secretly taken up to heaven to be with Allah, thus partnering instead of dying on the cross like the angel says? How come to believe that part of the Quran, which again calls itself the clear signs handed down, well, how come believing Quran um, for verse 157 through 158 uh, isn't shirk. Especially believing Quran 4 verse 158 that says Jesus was really secretly taken up to heaven to be with Allah. Am I missing something here? Let me know if I am. Bye.